Okay, here's a tutorial in making uh, a glass button. Uh, as you can see here, this is all done in Corel Draw, and it's very simple to do this. This is also a follow up with my tutorial about those um, uh, glass, uh, I mean, uh, web buttons for the web. But anyway, okay, so let's start the tutorials here. Uh, we're going to use um, effects like lens here. Okay, but well, first of all, I'm going to do. I'm going to delete this one except for the text. Just put the text in the bottom there, and I'm going to delete all of these. Okay, so so basically, I just put a background of the wood just to just to make it uh, make it more the glass glass button to make it more prominent. So first, I go to my rectangular tool. Okay. And then I'll make a rectangular box. Okay. Now, once I make the rectangular box, I go to my shape tool. Okay, in my shape tool, I'm going to have these four nodes in the four corners of the rectangle. So I click one and move it to the right. Okay, it more farthest to the right, and then I have like a, a tablet shape. Okay, so I've got that one. Okay, now I'm going to make one more. Actually, I'm going to duplicate two more. So plus sign to duplicate, and I'll make it smaller. The first one to be smaller, and I'll make it, uh, okay, I'll just make it somewhere there. And I can adjust that, okay. Then I'll click on my original shape again, then plus sign, and then I'll make it smaller. Okay, I'll just move it here in the bottom. Okay, now the first thing I have to do here is I'm going to dissect it first. So now I've got three shapes. Now the original shape, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to effects and go to lens. Okay, so when you click on lens, you're going to have this dialog box. Okay, now I'm going to click on magnify and then let's say magnify 1.5 means to say one and a half times the original uh, lens because what it does know this shape it's like a magnifying lens so that shape would have a magnified version of the the wood and then i click on apply okay now do you see the difference now so it's like an enlarged shape i can close this one now Get F4 to view the whole thing. Now, if you notice, see if I move my original shape, it magnifies. See, it magnifies a section of the of the wood. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the outline by going to my outline tool and click on X for no outline. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to make it white. Right, that's not white. Okay, I'll make it white and okay, going to make it white and then remove the outline. Go to outline tool and then click on X. And again, I'm going to put it onto this one here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my interactive drop uh, interactive transparency tool. Okay, where is it? It's this one. And then I click up and going down. There. Just going to like that. Okay. And I'm just going to move it a little bit. Okay, so that's fine. Now with this one, I'm gonna see if you take a look now. It's kind of it's it's shaping. It's 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 making the glass effect now, but not quite. Okay. Now. This one, the other shape, I'll make it white. Okay, it's a smaller version of the original one. I remove the outline. Outline tool and click on X. No outline. And then I'm going to make a transparency. Click. Oh, it's the wrong one. So I'm just going to move the black box up and then the small box down. Like this. And I'll just move it like this. 
I'll just make it pale, really pale. Okay. Okay, then I'll just move this up like that. And I can adjust the height. So I have to I have to do some adjustment on the transparency. Just to make it okay, move this down. There. See it's shaping now. And probably I'll move it higher. Yeah. Okay, now I have that illusion now. Now, okay, let's go back here. Now, I want to make the tablet stand out, like the original tablet that we've done. So you click on that, the one with the magnify lens, a magnify, yeah, lens, effect lens, magnify. And I go to bitmap and convert to bitmap. Okay. I'll make this, uh, I'll just make it 300 dpi, good for printing. And make sure transparent background is, uh, is checked, and I click OK. Okay. Now, since it's a bitmap, I can put drop shadow now. So I go to my drop shadow icon here, interactive drop shadow, and then I'll, what I'll do, I'll just uh, it's either you can go to the presets, say I want glow, medium glow. There. And then I can adjust it. I don't want it too opaque. See this, see this slider? You can slide it to the left. There. Let's say something like this. Okay, something like that is good. Okay, now it's shaping now. Okay, now I, the text here, I'll just put it in the center. Okay, so I'll put it to top first. So I go to arrange, order, to front of page. Okay, and there you go. Now, to make it realistic, I'm going to make this reflection, no, this top reflection, this one, uh, to top of the of the uh, glass bottom text. So I go to arrange, order to front of page. There, to have an illusion that the glass box, the glass bottom text is behind it. I'm going to do some a, a little a bit of adjustment here. There. There. There you go. So that's my glass button. Very cool.